Just got this in. This is the do-it-yourself building blocks drone and it is exactly as you would think it. Uh, this is the completed product. We're going to build this today and we're going to fly it and we're going to see how it goes. So in the box, it comes with everything you need to build it, including build instructions, step by step. They have it in Chinese and English, and it's very straightforward. All the pieces you need are there. It's all very compartmentalized, as you can see here. The, uh, the flight controller is all in this block here, and they make it nice and easy because there's, no, there's, there's really nothing else to do. It's all contained in there. And uh, this is the top plate. You also get a battery. You get a one-cell battery. This is a brushed drone. And that goes just right on top there. But yeah, this whole piece is pretty much the where everything is contained and it makes it easy to put together because they did all that work for you. All right, so this is the front of the drone and this is the back as indicated by the lights and the back is where the little battery plug goes in. Now that's gonna dictate how you put on the motors. It's very important to put on the motors the right way. The motors don't just go on the way you want them to. Um, as you can see here, the diagram tells you exactly where to put each motor, and it's very important because some of the motors are clockwise and some of the motors are counterclockwise. And so you can follow along and do exactly what I do here because that's, that's the correct color coding for what, what motor goes where. And I thought it was easier to just go ahead and put all the motors on right from the very beginning. You might want to put one of the little pegs in the holes to keep the, the base from moving around. But yeah, that's the complete product for the, uh, the motor installation. That's what it should look like with all correct orientation. The only thing I regret is that I, I should have paid attention to the prop color, but otherwise it still works anyway. It still works. All right, so the next thing you want to do is each arm is supposed to have these four little, uh, four stacks of four blocks here for the, the standoffs. Let's keep it up off the ground. And there you go. Battery slides in nice. Fortunately, the battery is not really easy to get to, so plan on that being sort of a, a, a quote unquote permanent fixture in there because it does the, the top doesn't come off super easily. All right, so actually, that's those are the pegs. They go in the top there, and this is the locking bar. The bar just locks right into the pegs. I'm going to show you that right now. There you go. Nice and locked in there. Yeah, so it sort of makes it difficult to change the battery, but it's also not that important. All right, and there you go. Locking it all in and making it nice and tight. And there we go. We got one more block to put in the center there, and then the build is pretty much complete. We're looking at a finished product here, except for the prop guards, but I did put those on later. Just try plugging it in, and that's it. You're good to go. So that's the complete build. Um, I would really recommend using glue to put this thing together because uh, it keeps it from falling apart. But once you know how to build it, put some glue. And uh, we're going to go outside now and see how this thing flies. All right, so here it is. We're outside with the uh, the building blocks drone. I'm going to plug in the battery. There it goes. comes on. Nice blinking lights. All right, now... To bind a drone, you just do up, down, and then it should be bound to the controller. Yep, just like typical bind process. So this is the flip button. This will turn the lights on and off. Let me show you that. And uh, these are the two speeds. It's got uh, high rates and low rates. Just two speed sets. I'm going to fly it in the high rates. The This is actually my second time flying it. All right, this is actually very smooth. Very, very smooth. Now, obviously the one thing that you need to know about this drone is that you can't crash it. Because <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen? The Lego pieces, or, oh sorry, I can't say Lego. Lego pieces are gonna go everywhere. But, there is a solution to that. When you build it, just glue it. This isn't glued. 
actually, I'm just flying this pretty dangerously right now. If it, we crash, it's gonna be kind of funny. Come on, we try not to. The advertised distance is about 50 meters. I'm flying all the way down there. I'm gonna try to go down there by the shed. Yeah, okay, I flew down to the shed and back. Solid control the whole time. As you can see, it's actually pretty, it's actually decently fast. Let's just do a quick throttle up. Yeah, that's solid. Look, for being a, a little like do-it-yourself build kit, for something that, you know, a professor might use in a classroom to uh, show students during a lecture or something, it flies well. It flies better than, I would say, some of the, uh, some bad toy drones I've flown recently. It's enjoyable to fly. The only problem is, as I said, you can't crash it. Unless you glue it up when you're building it. But I didn't want to glue it. At least not right away. All right, so I'm gonna try to do a flip. Let's see how the flips work. This kind of scares me because it, I hopefully it sustains its, uh, its position. Okay. Okay, oh wow, that's a solid flip. Check that out. Look at that, there's no sink or any or anything. Look at that. Very nice, very well done. You know, you get some drones that the motors are underpowered or they're just not built right with the weight to thrust ratio. And then when you do a flip like that, they'll sink to the ground or, or uh... but no, this one's well built. This is very nice. I'm, re I'm actually really, really impressed with this. Before I came out here, I just flew it inside briefly. But I am really impressed with this. I, I'm about to turn the lights on now. I don't know what kind of flight time we're gonna get out of this 600 milliamp per hour one cell battery. Probably gonna be about six minutes, five, six minutes. Look at the lights, that's so cool. You gotta bring close. So cool. Let's do another flip for good measure. So I guess these are the, yeah, these are the high rates. That's the yaw and the high rates. It's actually very slow, even in high, in what's considered high rates. Let's go to low rates. Yeah, oh, you don't have like any angle at all in the low rates. It's very, very, uh, very angle limited. The yaw is really slow too. Look at how slow that yaw is. I've got my I've got my finger full throttle to the left and the right here, and it's just taking forever to yaw. I would yeah, I'd recommend just flying it in the high rates because you end up having it taken by the wind or something. But yeah, that is really cool. That is a good drone. You know you don't you don't expect it coming from something like this right away when you first take a look at it. Because, you know, who, how much testing you think goes into something like this? But I, I think this is great. This is really nice. Obviously, this is not necessarily something you might want to fly every day. But if you're just doing something, you know, if you're doing something with your kids, you want to build something, this is a fun drone. This is a really, really fun drone. But yeah, look, good flight time, fun build. I, I really like this. I really, really like this drone. Oh yeah, it does backflips, it does forward flips, it, got, it does all sorts of flips. It's so nimble, look at it. I think we have low battery. Yeah, I can feel it being low, battery's going low. All right, that's it. 
That is it. That is the do-it-yourself building blocks drone. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Definitely get this if you're you want something to maybe do with your kids, or if you're a, a teacher in a classroom and you want a fun project to do with the kids. This is a this is a good product. This is a really good product. It flies well. The only thing is you need to glue it. And then once you do glue it, you don't have to worry about any of those problems when it comes to uh, the thing falling apart. It'll just stay together and that's it. You have a, we have a pretty cool drone that you built yourself. Let me know if you have any questions or uh, leave a message down in the comments below. And that's about it. So uh, as always, have a great day guys.